so let's continue talking about functions now i'm going to the lab and these are the list of functions we have already seen uh, two categories uh, date manipulation and string manipulation and as part of this video we will talk about uh, aggregations very briefly aggregations doesn't make much of a sense at this time um, but we will talk about uh, them very briefly some of the aggregations which you can see or the aggregate functions which you can see are uh, count average min max sum etc okay uh, so let's uh, just uh, see some of them if you want to get number of records in a uh, in a table you can use select count either uh, here you can use star or any literal it need not be one it could be a string also it could be anything um, and uh, you run this and it will give us the count of uh, odd uh, records in the orders table similarly if there is a field in a table and if you want to get uh, uh, sum of uh, that field um, then you can use sum as function and i am using order item in this case there is a field called subtotal sum of order item subtotal from order items will give the total revenue generated by all the orders Similarly, you can get average. Average will just uh, add up all the uh, all the values in order item subtotal, and then divided uh, divides it by number of uh, entries. Uh, here, it's uh, too big. That's why it's giving uh, exponential value. Um, um, but uh, uh, typically, we don't uh, do sum on the entire table. It's very rare. We typically do it uh, uh, by some uh, uh, dimension such as uh, date, week, month, etc. And if you want to get the uh, min, you can use min, um, and it will go through all the records in that field, and it will return one value, which will give the min minimum value. Uh, and you can actually get max by just saying max. So the, this is how you can actually uh, use the aggregate functions. Uh, the difference between aggregate functions and the functions which we have covered so far are uh, primarily um, the aggregate functions takes multiple records as input and returns one record as output. Uh, whereas um, regular functions which we have seen earlier takes one record as input and uh, and the record as output. So the uh, the limitation of using uh, aggregate functions like this is when you use aggregate function because it takes multiple records as input and uh, give one record per group as output. In this case, the complete data set is a group. For each group, it will return one record as output. Hence, you cannot have other fields along with it. For example, in this case, let's say I want to get uh, count of orders and also order status and hit enter. You can see expression not in group by key order status. So this you will understand a, a bit later, but uh, uh, you can uh, assume that or you can conclude that if you have a typical aggregate function like this, um, without any other clauses like group by uh, you cannot add any other um, columns directly like this it can be multiple aggregate functions for example i can say select count of one comma in count we can also pass a distinct so i can say distinct of order status from orders this is valid because both of them a similar uh, aggregate function both of them take group of records and uh, within uh, if there are multiple groups uh, within each group there could be multiple records and it will return one record per group in this case the entire data set is one group 
and hit enter it will give the number of orders and also distinct number of order statuses you can see there are, there are 68883 records and then there are um, nine distinct order statuses in those 68883 so that being said we will come back to the aggregate functions uh, a bit later when we actually talk about um, uh, aggregations in detail there is one subtopic on aggregation itself